while I'm at it again. Really didn't know what to do today, fishing wise. It took me, <laughs> it took me a very long time to decide. But I've ended up down the uh, down Bus Bridge, Bus Bridge Lake tench fishing. Had two, one bream, and lost one. I've only really been here a, an hour or two. And it's rained ever since I got here. It's kind of... <laughs> I just didn't feel... I didn't feel... Uh, motivated today. I couldn't normally buy a sort of midweek. I've decided where I'm going and what I'm gonna fish for and all that sort of stuff. Could not decide today. It's kinda of half thinking I'll stay at home roll some boilies, maybe carp fish the canal tonight. I did kinda of want a carp fish but that meant rolling boilies and I couldn't be bothered. In the end, I just did the easy thing and kind of came down here. I've, I've just wanted to sit behind some alarms today. <laughs> That's a tench, actually. <laughs> uh, all right, let's sort him out and uh, get a little bit of footage. As you can see, it's pretty bloody awful today. There we go. Nice little tinge. About three pound. Right. <coughs> Let's get her back in. I think I'm just going to fish with one, one rod. Having two is kind of annoying. So, All right. Let's plop her back in. I actually caught all my fish on uh, little soft pellets today. Just on this inline feeder. Four inch braid hook length, size 10 QM1 hook. <coughs> Just with a knot that's not hair rig. A little bait uh, quick stop there. All right. Get this back out there. Yeah, just been using these little uh, dynamite soft durable pellets on the hook. And the fish certainly seem to like them anyway. Let's get in two of these. Straight on the hair like that. And then inside the feeder I'm just using a, it's about 50-50 mix of two mil pellets and uh, a pellet based ground bait. All I'm doing is just, I'm just flicking out under arm so it's probably like 15 metres out or something like that. Um, I didn't bother to lead around or anything like that. This place has got this fairly silty, sandyish bottom. And essentially the fish are just going to come to wherever the feed is, so it's not like I've got a finder feature here or anything like that. So I've got two rods set up, but <laughs> to be honest, I don't want to catch that many fish because every time I go out there I get bloody wet. I don't want to get my sleeping bag completely soaked else I freeze to death tonight. So I'm just going to fish the one rod for now, kind of see what happens. I haven't thrown any ground bait out there or anything like that. I'm just relying purely on the feeder. And I mean, I caught one first cast, I caught one second cast, third cast I caught a bream. Fourth cast I had a tangle actually. I was getting liners and no bites and I was like, oh, what's going on here? And uh, lo and behold, when I brought it in, my hook was wrapped around the top of my feeder 
and then that fish there was my fifth cast and fourth fish on that rod. I, I have lost the tench on the other rod as well, but I've, I've not really been fishing with it. So, um, yeah, I'll just stick to the one rod, I think. Uh, another one, another tench, similar size, straight away, I mean, bloody hell, they're on it today, these little pallets are great, they smell vile though, they smell like some kind of shellfish or something, right, <laughs> that was a bit mental, I'll turn the camera off now and uh, yeah, wait and see really. Hopefully it will be dry tomorrow, I can do a bit of proper filming, but at the moment it's just a bit of a joke. Um, so I think I'm going to switch it off and I'll see you either if I catch anything exceptionally marvellous or uh, tomorrow when it's dry. I just thought I'd do a little uh, piece of the camera before it gets dark and uh, this is our setting up, rod went off, another tench, that's tench number five now. And a couple of uh, a couple of bream as well, a couple, you know, sort of two pound each or something. Another nice one, sort of typical for this lake really, three pound or so, three, three and a half. That's a good, that's a good three and a half that one I'd say. Oop. Nice long fish. <laughs> it went quiet there for a little while and I just fell asleep and uh, when I brought my rod in the little fish had nicked all the all my bait off. So, uh, I was probably sat there for sleeping for an hour or whatever with no bait on my rod. Never mind. All right, Ooh, a bit of a tangle. Sort that out and get that back out there. Good morning. It's pretty bloody cold last night. I. Uh, I actually stopped fishing at about 11 o'clock. I was only fishing with one rod and it was an absolute bream fest. I was catching one every cast. So I pulled that in and tucked myself up in the bag. <laughs> then at, what, five, there's five this morning, got woken up by the birds. My God, it was the crescendo. I've never heard anything like it. Absolutely everything you could imagine walking very loudly. Extraordinary. <clears throat> I've just chucked the one rod out again now, actually just now. I've flopped it down in the margins this time. It's a bit funny, you seem to catch tench and then after a little while the bream move in. The tench obviously more Quicker to get to to the uh, to the feeder and the bream. But once the bream kind of move in, they they can push the tench out a little bit. I should think you could get away with just chucking your feeder here, there, or everywhere here, and, and uh, fairly quickly the tench would be on it. You could probably catch a few out of a spot and then then start a new one somewhere else, cast a bit further over or whatever. I'm 
nice bit of mist peeling off the lake this morning. There's lots of fish topping and rolling and splashing around during the night as well, which is not uh, not unusual here. This, this, this lake's got it's got a very good stock of good fish in here and there's bloody millions of little roach in, as well and a fair few small pike well it's been pretty slow this morning I had one bream and a perch nice perch probably pushing a pound but the tench of uh, well, being conspicuous by their absence I'd say don't know whether it was all the rain we had sort of put a chill on the water or what. I've fed a decent bit of hemp, sort of not, not far out actually, the first thing this morning. I didn't want to fish by that bush, there's too many bloody sticks and snags there. Um, I caught nothing over that. I did catch that perch down by the bush actually. Um, so nothing over the hemp. Caught the uh, the bream back out there on the same line I was fishing yesterday, and I've also had a bit of a chuck over the far side there. But uh, no, not a lot's been going on really. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here all day. I think I'll go home and knock up some uh, boily base mix. Uh, in preparation for some carp fishing. Surprising, the tench aren't playing ball this morning actually. Never mind, I was sort of expecting perhaps to catch half a dozen or so this morning and then uh, then pack up about 10 o'clock and go home. It's about 9 o'clock now I think. Um, but I'm kind of over it. I wasn't really fired up for this uh, session over the last uh, 12 hours or so anyway. I don't know why, I just didn't, I wasn't feeling it yesterday at all. Right, without far further, further ado, I shall uh, say cheerio. No idea where I'm fishing next week. Uh, probably going to go to Marsh Farm in a few weeks for a little bit of a social. And there's another place I want to fish, which is Alton Reservoir. That's a big, big reservoir. I don't know what county it's in. It might be in Suffolk. It's a bit of a drive. It's a two-hour drive. It's a good roach venue, nice waggler fishing. Um, and there's some good roach in there as well. So that should be quite nice. I've been kind of wanting to go there for a while. A friend of mine, Dave, He's fished it a few times lately and done pretty well. Um, so it looks nice. Right, I'll see you later.